Welcome to White Hart Lane, a cold night with a fierce wind blowing for what promises to be an excellent night of European football. The Russian side on the left there in the red shirts, Dynamo Tbilisi, are said by Spurs players to be just about the best side they've faced in Europe for years. Even so, Spurs came away from the first leg in Russia a fortnight ago with a 1-1 draw, and that puts them in a good position tonight. Though this tie, believe me, is far from over yet. Let's now catch up on the Spurs side. Cyril Knowles is out of defence. Martin Peters, though, is fit. And Alan Gilzean is among the substitutes. Terry Naylor, in fact, gets the number three shirt. And Chris McGrath, the young Belfast boy, is at number seven. The Russian player that the Spurs team felt was the biggest threat to them was their number seven, Machaidze. There he is in the centre, a 20-year-old winger with tremendous skill and pace. Indeed, he can do 100 metres in 11 seconds. And in this Tbilisi side tonight, six internationals. The best known of all, of course, is the captain, Kurt Silava, uh, who indeed is the number four and is also the captain of the Russian national side. Georgiashvili, the number two, is another very well-known international player. So they are a side with flair and experience. And the crowd, with the petrol troubles that we've had and with the uh, rail troubles that we had, disappointingly small, but I think they might be the lucky ones. The referee tonight is from France, René Vigliani, and it's going to be Spurs in their all-white strip to kick off. The Russians, in fact, had a little bit of an emergency on the way here. They arrived here without their kit and have had to borrow red shirts, shorts and stockings from Spurs. Happily, they had their boots with them. Remember, Spurs 1-1 after the first leg. And there's Hurtilava, the uh, skipper, the number four, getting the ball down to line two, only to Ralph Coates, who scored the vital goal for Spurs in uh, Tbilisi in Georgia. And a foul there by Philip Beale on the number 10, Nodia. Dynamo Tbilisi, who finished fifth in the Russian League, which finished uh, a few weeks ago, and now Mike England getting in, but the number 11, Kipiani, crossing it in there, and Jennings for Tottenham. Chivers coming for this one, heading it back for Ray Evans. A really blustery night there, the wind mostly behind the uh, Russian players there, as McGrath gets in, couldn't quite get it across enough, and so it'll be a goal kick to Tottenham. Peters now, putting it straight to, to Asatiani as the Russians now pick it up again. Machaizde. Still Machaizde, and there was a deflection, and that very nearly went in off the number 11, Kipiani. Jennings really would have known very little about that. And here we see Machaizde cutting inside John Pratt and you'll see a deflection after he's hit it there's the deflection and it almost caught Jennings out the deflection coming off the 11 well the feet there of the number three Chelitsi too high it'll be a free kick to Tottenham Three men in the Russian wall. And Peters curling one in there, Chivers, hoping to nod it back. And McGrath would have been there waiting for it. But instead it's Naylor, a good chest trap by him. And now Pratt, Spurs with a lot of men forward. Here's Chivers, it's with Coates. And that'll be another throw, and Chivers already on this side of the field. It'll probably be the throw for him. And again, Mike England has gone into that Russian six-yard area. Towards the near post, and it had to be fist there by the goalkeeper. McGrath trying to lay it back there for Pratt, and the Russians getting it away as far as Philip Peel. Evans picking up uh, Naylor very neatly there. A goal kick.
Veal. And again, Hutzilava there, way above Martin Peters, but now Perryman to Coates for Tottenham. Beaten, though, by the number six, Ebralici, and Coates fighting back and winning, and the crowd enjoyed that little bit of uh, determination by Ralph Coates. Here's Peters with the cross, and another corner for Tottenham. That time off for uh, Hinchagashvili. Evans hit first time, quickly enough, Peters! Oh, very close indeed. The value of an early ball played inside there by Evans was seen to full extent. As we see now, as the cross comes in, Peters just a fraction wide. And offside, and that was a very late flag by the linesman on this side came to the right conclusion because Nodia, the number 10, was offside, but he was rather late putting his flag up. Slightly annoyed the Russian. But Spurs get the free kick. Mike England again will take it. Towards Martin Peters, being carefully watched by Georgeshvili. Azatiani. As a Tiani again. Kipiani beaten though by the challenge of Ray Evans. George Oshvili with the throw for Dynamo Tbilisi. As a Tiani. And Kipiani. Throw to uh, Tbilisi. Leaving it for Djurjashvili, very, very experienced Russian international. Nachaidze again getting past John Pratt, and that was a good piece of play by Beal, but it's not away yet by any means. And Spurs been a lot of trouble there, and they're still not out of it. Asitiani to Hutsilava, a man with a tremendous shot, as we've seen once or twice before in internationals, although Spurs snuffed him out there. But now Kutsayev slipping past Pratt. Faced by Naylor, and Spurs under a lot of pressure there, and uh, conceding the corner. So a corner to the Russians. Good Saif will take it. And again, Martin Peters was right back there. George Ashvili trying to... Uh, let one fly through a whole ruck of players, this uh, Russian number two, but a goal kick to Tottenham. <laughs> Tackle from behind, although uh, Naylor did his utmost to Make contact with the ball through Gutsayev's legs. Free kick to Russia. To uh, Dynamo Tbilisi in a good run there by uh, Kipiani. <laughs> Pushed by Hurtsilava on Chivers. The Russian captain claiming that Chivers was backing into him. A free kick to Tottenham. 25 minutes of the first half gone. Chivers and Pratt behind the ball. Peters also joining them now, and going back. And a wall only about five yards away, but Chivers trying to blast away way through. Falls for Naylor, and now for Pratt. Naylor again. Nicely trying to get past Djordjashvili, but he's a very swift fullback, and he recovered very quickly. But Spurs get a corner. Again, John Pratt's taking it, and again, Mike England has come up. And again, it's deep towards England, and he got the header in, and it was so very, very close. 
brilliant header there by Mike England. And Martin Peters was almost in at the death. As the corner came across from John Pratt, just look at the way Mike England comes in for the header. With all the power in the world, they just keep it out. And even then, Martin Peters couldn't quite get in there for the death. So it's a goal kick then to a much relieved Dynamo Tbilisi side. Defensive header that time, an unfair one by Mike England. Free kick to the Russians. Kocilava, the skipper, gesturing that he wants his players to spread out a bit. They are funneling through the middle a little too uh, much, not making very much use of the wings. Azetiani with the header, Mike England again getting it away. Kipiani, number 11, after it. Back to the number five, Inchagashvili. Machayadzi. Chelitsi. Forward again there, but uh, Nodia. That looked like handball by England, and it was handball by England. And a free kick given to the Russians. This might just be the uh, occasion when someone like Hutsilava, possessor of a really powerful kick, and particularly with the wind behind him now, might well have a blast at goal. Azatiani is the big man standing over the ball, but Hutsilava just behind him, but there's the number seven and a shot that's well wide by Machaidzi. And it'll have to be taken again because I think it must have been that the Spurs wall was not the fully 10 yards back. So the Russians get another go. Will they vary it this time? And it's Hurtsilava instead. And that was a tremendous shot again. No more than a foot uh, too high. By Hurtsilava, number four. Peters header, McGrath, Peters, played wide again towards Coates and Evans, Coates getting it across nicely, and McGrath has scored, Chris McGrath, the young Belfast boy, has put Spurs ahead, the 18 year old who was a bit of a gamble for Billy Nicholson, bringing him into the side in place of Gilsey. Here's the cross from Ralph Coates, picked to perfection, and just watch young Chris McGrath go in, directed downwards and in. On the half hour then, McGrath puts Spurs into the lead. Spurs, whose league form this season has been anything but impressive, looking for a good run in the cup somewhere, and hoping that again it might be the uh, UEFA Cup, which of course they've already won once. Georgiashvili getting that one away for Tbilisi. Here's Coates again, this time for Peters. And Spurs looking better now as the cross comes in towards Pratt, and he put that goalkeeper under enormous pressure. A foul and a free kick, though. George Ashvili for Dynamo Tbilisi. As a Tiani, oh, and...